Reyhanli, a Turkish town near the Syrian border, is on a knife's edge. Its streets filled with tens of thousands of Syrian refugees in need, all escaping the civil war next door. Kadria is one of them. Widowed with three children, she's a reminder that the killing will likely continue with or without airstrikes. Assad has slaughtered us, even killed babies. We just pray the Americans will strike him and finish him off as soon as possible, she said. But with limited airstrikes effectively on hold, the fear now is that Bashar al-Assad's forces will double down on the battlefield, bringing yet more suffering to Syrians. They absolutely run the risk of seeing Assad survive, seeing the conflict continue to drag out, tens of thousands more killed and many hundreds of thousands of refugees with no clear political outcome for Syria for the foreseeable future. And while there's suddenly hope of stepping back from the brink, countries like Turkey, which find themselves right next to Syria, are still bracing for war. Iraq reinforcing its border with thousands of troops and tanks. Israel and Jordan on heightened states of alert. In Lebanon, the U.S. Embassy sending home all non-essential staff and families. While here in Turkey, its borders look more like a front line. Patriot anti-missile batteries all poised for any Syrian strike. Our allies in many countries in the region see Syria as really the single most dangerous place on earth right now. And none more so than the people of Rehanli. Khalid Sukar, a local Turk, is angry that Syrians, their numbers now making up fully half the population, are stealing his town, taking houses and jobs. Sukar sees only more war and more homeless Arabs to deal with. We just want the war to be over and the Syrians to leave our country and live in peace, he said. But with the civil war in its third year and no end in sight, these Syrians, among half a million stranded in Turkey, are going nowhere. Jim Masedam, NBC News, Rehanli, Turkey.